miles. It is, of course, an Escort Mark 1, which was dominant in early years of racing. It's rear-wheel drive, lots and lots of fun. But inside this, we've got a Cosworth engine. Now, nobody thought of doing this. Of course, Ford, to compete with homologation laws, had to put them in certain cars, as we know, the Sapphires and the Escorts as well. Nobody thought of doing this with a Mark 1. But somebody has, thankfully. It is still rear-wheel drive. This engine, though, has been decompressed. It's running green injectors. It's also got an intercooler down the front here. It's running a hell of a lot of horsepower. This is an unbelievable car. As we move down, we're also going to notice that the wheels are bigger at the back than they are at the front. We've got big wheels on the back just for the sole purpose that that's where all the power is going to come from. In the interior, it's stripped out. It's fully ready for racing. We've got harnesses and full bucket seats in there. Now, if you make this car at the lights, nobody's going to know exactly what you've got in this. They're going to think you're a standard thing. But wolf in sheep's clothing, you're only going to know by that huge exhaust on the back. This is a brilliant car, and I really think that uh, we should meet the owner. And here he is, Dave. How do you do? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Dave, I've got to know, why did you decide to put a Cosworth engine in a Mark I? In a Mark I? Um, basically, to try and achieve the maximum power output we could get away with um, without um, actually causing any problems with the major structural uh, components of the car. The Cosworth engine is more or less a Pinto engine and more or less fit straight in. Right. We use more or less a bit loosely, but <laughs> more or less fit So straight have in. you had to do some cutting and shutting to actually get the engine in? A little, but it's not too far removed from the Mark I RS2000. Right. So have you had to actually you know, do the shell in any way to keep it stronger? The, the entire suspension and shell structure has been changed to um, a five-link um, uh, axle location on the rear. It's turreted. It's got coilover suspension, all of the necessary gussets and strengthening. Right, Dave, thank you very much. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, so thanks for coming. It's a pleasure. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dave. Cheers.